Hey, what's up, good people of the World Wide Web? Juicy here with a chit chat haul try on type of uh, video. Um, this is a haul from when I went to the uh, Mardi Gras parade. Um, Y'all seen this shapewear thing before. This is from the Avenue when I did my shapewear haul. This is from the Avenue and this is like a dress type of thing. <clears throat> this bra is from Lane Bryant like three years ago and it is a strapless bra because one of the items I'm going to show you um, is like an off the shoulder type of thing. Um, so that's why uh, I put this on my other bra that I would normally wear, my black uh, strapless bra. It is too difficult to put on by myself. <laughs> so, uh, I got this one on. But anyways, um, so I'm going to show you the things I got, um, uh, from when I went to... When I came from the parade, since I didn't have much to do, I decided to go shopping. And I went to Group 21 and got some stuff. And then I went to TJ Maxx because I was looking for this one particular item and ended up coming out with a whole lot of other stuff. So um, another thing I'm gonna talk about while I'm in this video is um, I got a comment from a subscriber um, he's also a YouTuber. His YouTube page is called the, it's not The Hustler, but it's Hustler. And he shows, um, you know, things that you can do to build a business. If you want to do your own business, ideas that, uh, you can do. Uh, and, you know, he shows you just business ideas and, um, stuff like that. Um, he's a small top, he's a small YouTuber, um, but he's grown, he wants to grow his, wants to grow his following. So one of the questions he asked was if I ever, um, don't know what type of video to put up, um, how about doing a video, uh, on YouTubers I watch and upcoming YouTubers. And I thought about doing that before, but, um... I'm not sure if the people I subscribe to want my subscribers. Um, it is nothing wrong with my subscribers. I love my subscribers. The majority of my subscribers are men. Um, it's like a 80%, 20% uh, type of deal. And a lot of the people I watch are kind of modest. Um, they don't do trial hauls like I do trial hauls. Um, uh, most of them have kids, little kids, teenagers, things like that. And I also watch a lot of um, college blogs. So most of them are like 20, early 20s, still in their teens. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that they don't want um, <laughs> the comments I get in their comments. Um, I'm fine with the comments I get, whether it be negative or positive because it is what it is, but um, I, I know, I know for sure they don't want want the comments that I get because I hear them when they're doing their videos and, um, you know, I heard a couple of them, well-known YouTubers and uh, not so well-known YouTubers say things like, um, one of them said that they sister told them, dang, this this new lady on here, she shows everything. And I'm like, well, are they talking about me? <laughs> uh, yeah, I kind of do show everything, but I'm comfortable in my skin. And I've heard things like, um, you know, I don't, I'm not going to show my bra and panties on YouTube because I, I'm, I have respect for myself and things like that. And I'm like, okay, 
I respect myself too, but hey, I am a body positive person and I've been plus size pretty much all my life. And you know, I'm an adult entertainer in all of the sense of an adult entertainer. Uh, I have a video out that's called Miss Fat, Who is Miss Fat Juicy? Uh, and that pretty much explain, explain to people who I am or who is Miss Fat Juicy and what I do in the adult entertainment business. And a little backstory, um, I saw that my sexual experience uh, in 2003, I was 22 years old, was my first time. And shortly after that, I say maybe 2005, um, me personally, I posted my own self. I took pictures of myself, body parts and all, and things that I did sexually. I myself personally put that out. Didn't nobody have to do it for me. Um, I did it myself. And so um, I've been doing this for a while. So um, yeah, that's just a little bit of what I want to say about that. Um, I don't, I thought about doing a video like that, but again, um, I don't think they want those type of comments in my, <laughs> in their, uh, in their comment section. So, I'm going to start by the things that I got from TJ Maxx. And I got this Zodiac palette from BH Cosmetics, and it was for... $8.99 if y'all can see and I went online to see how much it cost and it was $27 and if y'all know which I probably don't know um, I'm into a lot of Zodiac stuff uh, life path stuff anything to do with the universe tarot cards. I don't do tarot card readings, but I do watch a lot of things that have to do with Pisces and stuff like that. If y'all don't know, I am a Pisces. I'll be turning 39 March the 15th. Woo! Yes, I am old, honey. <laughs> and um, so I got this Zodiac palette because it's the Zodiac. Now, what I originally went into um, TJ Maxx for, I've seen this already, was this little corn purse or whatever it's called. It's a card case, next in line card case from Juicy Couture, and it was $7.99. I seen this first when I went to go and get me a wallet. But I was like, what would I need this for? But I needed it, so I got it. And I went through the clearance aisle and found some clearance stuff. Put you right here. And I got three little clearance things. Put you on the floor then. So the first thing I got was this was this bare minimum bare minerals uh blemish rec uh recovery skin clearing loose powder foundation and it's in the color natural deep 5.5 NW and it was for two dollars and I got it even though the packaging looked like it's been open it wasn't the I guess it was from some other makeup that was open but this one was sealed I opened it to make sure the packaging that there was nothing on it or anything so yeah I was happy I found this I always wanted to try something in the bare mineral bare minerals family but yeah I'm kind of cheap you know what I'm saying <laughs> So I wasn't going to really just spend that much on it, but it was $2. Um, so yeah, I found this, it says pink it up 
and it is a body shop brand and it was for two dollars original price was $10.99 I think it was like a holiday thing and it came with the body shop rose dew dewy glow face mist it came with a the body shop pink grapefruit shower gel just a little travel size and then it also came with a strawberry bonbon liquid no a strawberry bonbon shine lip liquid from the body shop and so for two dollars you know I've never tried the body shop stuff but I know they're expensive so hey that's how I try things out <laughs> on the clearing tile and then I also found this um, natural um, uh, made by natural grind uh, toothpaste and it was locked up so I knew no one got into it and it's a toothpaste and a toothbrush and it was three dollars I googled this too and I think it was like seven dollars for the toothpaste and then the brush was sold separately or something like that but to get a two pack for three dollars i think that was a pretty good steal a pretty good deal so on to my try on i got three dresses and a skirt from group 21 plus um i got them all in the 4x because they didn't have a 3x Cause I normally like my clothes to fit how this shape where it's fitting. Very tight to my body. Um, I like tight stuff. It makes me feel secure. That is that tight on my body. Um, like even if I bend down, I know I can't bend down too far because I know, you know, if my dress stops here or my dress stops that low, that I have to do some other type of bend, you know, like a little curtsy type of thing or turn my, my butt against the wall and bend or something like that. So I just, to me, I feel comfortable with um, dresses that are, are that fit tighter than the ones that I got. Um, the swing dresses make me feel like if the wind blows, it'll blow up my dress. So let me start off with the skirt first and then I'll end off with the dresses. So this is just a regular plain maxi skirt. Black maxi skirt with is it another slit? Just a slit on this side here. And it was for five dollars. Everything was five dollars and everything is in a 4XL. Let me show you before I try to. Oh no, this is in a 3X. And it was for $5. Yeah. And it kind of get back onto that other topic about just, um, well, it looks like it's about to rain. Just about, oh, this is cute. Can y'all see the bottom part? It's all the way down to the floor. Oh, my camera went blurry. But it's all the way down to the floor. This looks like this. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> have to wear my skirts really high so that it doesn't touch the ground. Right underneath the boobies. I, again, I don't have um, a long torso. So, everything is pretty high up. My pants, tights, leggings are pretty, they go up that high, but yeah. <laughs> um, I got this dress, that's in a 4X. Just a, I guess around the house, go to the grocery store, go to the corner store, you know, Dollar General. Family Dollar, just one of those type of dresses. Nothing really fancy. 
Oh, this is cute. And it looks like this. The back has this little, you know, situation there. And it just looks like this. It's really cute. I like the color on my skin. This burgundy wine color. Dark colors look good on me. Light colors look good on me too. I'm not gonna sit there and tell that lie. Everything looks good on me, I say. <laughs> and a lot of people say that too. So, you know, um, again, back on to uh, me shouting out YouTubers. If they want me to, I don't mind doing it because, hey, I don't mind helping anybody. Um, I'm one of those type of people. Again, I'm a Pisces and we like to help any way we can. We've helped financially, emotionally, physically, any type of way that we feel that we can help, we want to help. And if they all right with me shouting them out, then I'll do it. If they don't mind the men on their channels telling them that, they're, that they look beautiful or that their butt is big and round and fine and they boobs look good in their dress or you know your lips look tasty and all that stuff hey I don't mind <laughs> I don't mind I don't mind it I, I'll tell them hey go watch such and such she's cool I like her personality she does try on hauls be respectful I would say but you know men and some foreign men I love y'all but y'all be saying some things Man, I'm like, you could have said that on my other page. And this is the dress that's like the off the shoulder. I've, I've always wanted one of these dresses, but I, uh, I don't know. I never really thought to buy it or, yeah, you know. It was for um, $5 as well. It was in a 4X. Yeah. And, um,. It has a lining in it. Let me show you. It looks like that, so it's not see-through. You don't have to wear this little body stocking thing if you don't want to. Working up a switch trying to take this shit off. Okay. Do one arm at a time. There we go. That's better. And again, I will have my black bra on because this bra doesn't support me the way I want it to be. Okay, so it looks like this. I don't know how the back looks. Okay. Ooh. I had to come up close so I could see myself in this thing. Um, yeah, if I had my other black bra on, it, they would be like this. Boo. Okay, sorry y'all. But yeah, this is this dress. I like it. It's kind of cute-ish type of thing. I just feel weird with my shoulders out. So, I don't know. It shows off all my tattoos in this one here. Yeah, I like it. 
This is how it looks. But again, if there are YouTubers that watch my channel that won't mind me shouting them out to my subscribers and don't mind my subscribers coming onto their, <laughs> onto their comments saying pretty much whatever they want to say, um, then I'll do it. Um, I'll even do a video, but it's, I, I'm respectful. Um, I understand some people aren't in my lifestyle and, you know, they would like to keep that type of stuff private in their own room or, you know, sending nudes to their boyfriends or husbands or wives and things like that, which is cool. Um, so, yeah. If you want me to, I'll do it. If not, I'm fine with it too. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little haul. This little chit chat haul and try on. Um, excuse me, video. And I will see y'all good people in the next try on haul vlog type of video.